High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Quirk Auto Group, Greenway Equipment Sales, McDonald's on Main Street and Union Street, Bangor, and Wilson Street, Brewer, Next Home Experience, Hero Sports Grill and Entertainment Center, Firehouse Subs in Bangor, Levesque Business Solutions, Uno's Pizzeria and Grill, Bangor, Brewer Redemption Center, Loring Job Corps, Glenburn Landscape and Supply Company, Thriving Proof, Novus Auto Glass, Dean's Detailing, Northeast Driving School, Varney Mazda, Las Palapas, Bangor and Brewer, The Fitch Company, Praise Auto Sales, Bangor Tire Company, Mainly Audio, Tiller and Rye, The Ground Round, The Not So Empty Nest, Dorsey Furniture, Acadia Federal Credit Union, Bennett Auto Center, Hartford's Auto Service, Union Street Laundromat, The Farmer's Table, The Village Kitchen, Comfort Shoes and More, Bangor Floral, Angelo's Pizza, The Local Neighborhood Marketplace, Auto Radiator Services, Hillside Athletics, Flash Me Main Photo Booth Rentals, The Coach House Restaurant, Doors Equipment, and Tim's Plumbing. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is also brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, Creative Options, Bangor Federal Credit Union, First National Bank, Better Homes and Gardens by Holly Taylor, Brewer Federal Credit Union, Down East Toyota, Midcoast Denture Design, and by the Maine Bureau of Highway Safety. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is a production of Sportsnet Maine and Sports Radio 92.9 The Ticket. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Brewer High School, and welcome to High School Basketball here on Ticket TV. Today, a Class A North matchup, a KVAC matchup between the Coney Ram girls and the Brewer Witches girls. Great to have you with us. Jim Church along with Ernie Clark, live in the Dean's Detailing broadcast booth. Dean's Detailing, the leader in auto detailing since 1971. And we're going to get the Northeast Driving School pregame show underway. Northeast Driving School, the leader in driver training in the greater Bangor area since 1969. Well, Ernie, uh, you look at the Class A North standings, you see Lawrence at the top, undefeated at 10-0, but then you've got six teams all within a game of 500 right after that. Yeah, and the two we're say, uh, seeing today, perhaps playing some of their best basketball of the year. Coney's a veteran team, uh, lost to... Lawrence in the regional semifinals a year ago. Lawrence went on to win the state championship, of course. Uh, got off to a two and three start, but have won four, four of their last five. Brewer, to get to five and five, have won three in a row, including that buzzer beater uh, over Bangor last week. Was it Gabby Roberts scoring at the buzzer to give uh, Brewer a point-worthy victory over a uh, Bangor team that's lost just three times in double A. They've moved up to uh, five and five. Ty with Skowhegan record-wise, but ahead of them in the heel points based on a three-game winning streak. So one team's won four out of five, and the other team's won three in a row. So there's some uh, some heel points to be made here this afternoon. No doubt about it. That's the first segment of the Northeast Driving School pregame show. High School Basketball on Ticket TV presented by Quirk Auto Group, celebrating 50 years. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. Visit QuirkAuto.com. And our coverage here today also brought to you by your local family-owned McDonald's, on Main Street and Union Street in Bangor and on Wilson Street in Brewer. They are hiring openers. Start at $17 and up. Work early and have the rest of your day free. Search for these locations at jobs.mchire.com. All right, we are going to take a time out here in the Northeast Driving School pregame show. When we come back, we'll take a look at the rosters for the Rams and the Witches. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. Selling is all about relationships and building trust. 
At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Pay no interest on a John Deere Select Series lawn tractor paid in full within nine months. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. So at Firehouse Subs, we don't just make subs, we make subs that are big, bold, and craveable. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Like our spicy Cajun chicken with Cajun seasoned grilled chicken breast and a house-made Cajun mayo. Firehouse Subs, enjoy more subs, save more lives. Visit 920 Stillwater Avenue. Your locally family-owned McDonald's, Wilson Street Brewer, Main Street, and Union Street in Bangor are hiring weekend team members. Work full-time or part-time as a second job. Apply online at jobs.mchire.com and learn more about the Archway's tuition assistance to further your education in future. Once again, you can apply online at jobs.mchire.com for openings at Wilson Street and Brewer, Main Street, and Union Street in Bangor for weekend team members. Get started today at jobs.mchire.com. Sometimes life is a cluttered mess, but your car doesn't have to be. At Dean's Detailing, we have a variety of packages that will make your car look new again. Change your outlook. Book your appointment now at deansdetailing.com. Welcome back to Brewer High School, the Northeast Driving School pregame show. It's the Coney Rams, six and four, taking on the Brewer Witches, five and five, in this KBAC matchup here this afternoon. High school basketball on Ticket TV, presented by Greenway Equipment Sales. Nothing runs like a deer. Visit Greenway Equipment in Bangor and in Ellsworth, or at GreenwayEquipment.com. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and the Dean's Detailing broadcast booth. As you see, the captains. And the coaches meeting with the two officials here this afternoon. Ernie, let's take a look at the rosters, and we'll start with the Coney Rams out of Augusta. Coney Rams, varsity roster, just 10 players strong. A couple of managers on there. It makes it look long. But just 10 players on the varsity roster. Pretty good mix. Four seniors, four juniors, one sophomore, one freshman. Uh, one player to watch is uh, Morgan Fickthorn, number 21. She's a junior forward. Transfer from Winthrop, where she was an all Mountain Valley Conference first team choice at the Class C level a year ago. And she was part of a, uh, a unit that in their last game, in Coney's last game against Scott Higgins last Friday, made 10 three-pointers in the first half, 12 altogether, as uh, they knocked off the, uh, the Riverhawks there. So something to look out for if you're Brewers to make sure you stay out on their perimeter shooters. And speaking of the Brewer Witches, now led by Tana Ross and... Anna Ross has this team playing some good basketball here. Again, winners of three in a row. Yeah, three in a row, including that win over Bangor. Uh, also defeating Mesolonsky and Mount Blue during that uh, that stretch. And uh, they're a very young team. Just the one senior in Mariah Roberts, but healthy group of, uh, of juniors and uh, sophomores and a couple of freshmen as well that uh, both get playing time. So uh, not only playing for the present, but building for the future as well. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you by Next Home Experience. For the third straight year, Next Home is the market leader. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. We'll take another break here in the pregame show. When we come back, we'll look at the program histories. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. You've always known what you wanted no matter how far down the road it looked. We're here to help you get there. Brewer Federal Credit Union. BrewerFCU.org. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the visions of celebrating with family and friends this holiday season. Give the perfect gift to get you where you need to be all year long with Milwaukee Tools for any job. 
Milwaukee's impact driver and ratchet sets will get you up and going and receive a free M12 battery instantly when you buy an impact driver and ratchet set in any of Coastal Auto Parts' 29 locations. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a Maine family that cares. Life is so much better when you impact the lives of those around you. And with Creative Options, you will. Creative Options provides services and support to adults with intellectual disabilities. And right now, Creative Options is looking for shared living providers who take clients into their own homes, kind of like adult foster care. You'll enjoy a generous, tax-free stipend to work from home and make a difference in someone's life. To apply for this tremendous opportunity, simply visit creativeoptionsllc.org. That's creativeoptionsllc.org. At Midco Central Design, we truly understand the importance of offering an affordable treatment plan that always considers your needs first. We create beautiful new full and partial dentures as well as offering repairs and relines to your current dentures. We want your denture to fit comfortably, be affordable, and most of all make you happy. At Midco Central Design, your smile is what matters most. In fact, it's our job to make sure you have a smile you can be proud of at a price you can afford. Call Midco Central Design because everyone deserves to have an awesome smile. When you drive drunk, you don't know what you might lose. Freedom and reputation, financial stability, your life, and the lives of others. Please. 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 Don't drink and drive. You've lived quite a life. Now, it's time to live it up. We're here to help you enjoy all you've earned. Brewer Federal Credit Union. BrewerFCU.org. Welcome back to Brewer High School and high school basketball here on Ticket TV. Got a couple games going on today. This game between the Coney Rams and the Brewer Witches. An earlier start for the Bangor Rams and the Hamden Academy Broncos. We'll get a score on that game Coming up for you, high school basketball on Ticket TV, presented by Firehouse Subs, home of the King's Hawaiian Pork and Slaw Sandwich. It's back for a limited time at 920 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. Let's check in on the program histories, and we'll start with the Coney Rams. It's been a little dry here recently, but certainly, Ernie, uh, for a while, one of the best programs around. Yeah, you go back to the, the 80s and the Marcy and Megan Lanes, the, the guards. That led the way, and then Amy, Amy Vashon came along and kind of battled with Cindy Blodgett of Lawrence back in the early 90s, and then more recently, uh, Katie Rollins was a big uh, big player for them, went on to play at Harvard, and she was in the mix of some of those championship teams as well, but you see a lot of them from the late 80s to uh, about a decade ago. And for the Brewer Witches, again, Tanner Ross and a Rebuilding process here with the Witches. Has the team at five and five, and certainly if the Witches could end up at 500 or better, that would be a nice improvement here in 2024. Well, you take what they've done so far with a three-game winning streak. They've uh, they've only one win shy of what they had all of last season when they came on strong at the end to qualify for postseason play. And you look back at 2020 and 2022, they've already equaled or or superseded those win totals. So. Uh, Good start for Tanner Ross and the Witches. Today's coverage of high school basketball on Ticket TV presented by Hero Sports Grill and Entertainment Center. Whether you're watching some football at the bar or taking the family out for a great meal and some fun, Heroes is the place to be. The official sports grill of Ticket TV in downtown Bangor and at heroesportsgrill.com. Time now for the injury report. It's brought to you by County Physical Therapy. Located at 82 Sylvan Road in Bangor, they provide an array of physical therapy and other services in a modern, well-equipped, and motivating environment. For more information, visit them online at countypt.com. Everybody uniformed up and ready to go here for this ball game this afternoon. We'll take a timeout. Back with the opening tip, Ernie's keys to the game, the starting lineups, and much more on Ticket TV.
Hero Sports Grill and Entertainment Center offers fantastic food and drinks in a fun, family-friendly atmosphere with 29 flat-screen TVs for your sports viewing pleasure and an arcade with prizes for the whole family to enjoy. Whether you're looking for a drink at the bar while watching your favorite sports team or trying to find a place to bring the family for a great meal out, Heroes is the place to be. Heroes also offers takeout or catering for any event in the Bangor area, large or small. Come for the food. Stay for the friends. Selling is all about relationships and building trust. At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Pay no interest on a John Deere Select Series lawn tractor paid in full within nine months. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. When it comes to repairing or replacing your windshield, Novus is the clear choice in glass repair. Locally owned and operated at 499 Hammond Street, we offer free mobile service in the greater Bangor area, as well as shuttle service during bad weather. We can come to your home, workplace, or anywhere you are. Novus is a preferred service provider by all insurance companies, and we can cover up to $100 of your insurance deductible. Whether it's repairing or replacing your windshield, door glass, mirror, or your rear window glass, you can count on Novus to be where you are when you need us the most. Call Novus today. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. So at Firehouse Subs, we don't just make subs, we make subs that are big, bold, and craveable. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Like our spicy Cajun chicken with Cajun seasoned grilled chicken breast and a house-made Cajun mayo. Firehouse Subs, enjoy more subs, save more lives. Visit 920 Stillwater Avenue. Hello, Maine. This is Steve McKay. It's a wintry mix out there, but pockets of orange are standing out against the white blanket of snow throughout the state. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes just like yours. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. Hello, Eastern and Central Maine. The days are getting shorter, and that means two things. One, winter is coming, and that means snow, snow, and more snow. Two, the folks at Glenburn Landscape and Supply Company have your back by saving your back with Aaron's The King of Snow. Whether you need a new snowblower or just to get your current one up and running, they have you covered. It doesn't take a meteorologist to know the best way to handle snow is with an Aaron's snowblower. And the best place to find an Aaron's snowblower is at Glenburn Landscape and Supply Company. All right, we are back here at Brewer High School. Starting lineups have been introduced. We'll introduce those starting lineups to you here momentarily. We'll also get Ernie's keys to the game as the two teams line up at their respective free throws in front of their benches. And we have another special performance here by the saxophone standout, Bryce Dickinson, as he is going to say, uh, take center court and deliver the national anthem for us. Did a great job here the last time we were here for a boys game. There he is.
All right, Bryce Dickinson doing it again. Getting fist pumps from the officials, the opposing coach here today, and a kiss from mom, I suspect, down below as he delivers another special performance here prior to a Brewer Witches basketball game. This afternoon, it's the Coney Rams. You see their huddle right there against the Brewer Witches. And uh, Ernie, first, why don't you give us the starting lineups for the two squads here today? Okay, for the Coney Rams, 6-4 and four in the season. Number one, Morgan Cunningham, a 5'7 senior. Number four, Macy Freeman, a 5'7 senior. Number 13, Abby Morrill, a 5'8 junior. Number 14, Kaylee Barajas, a 5'8 senior. And number 21, Morgan Fichtorn, a 5'9 inch junior. For the Brewer Witches at 5'5, five five, Abby Flagg, 5'4 freshman guard. Ally Flagg, 5'1 junior guard. Mariah Roberts, 5'5 five five senior guard. Jillian Ford, sophomore forward. And who did I miss? Gabrielle Roberts, number five, a 5'7 junior guard. All right, underway. Tip knocked out of bounds off of Coney. So Brewer gets the first possession of the ball game. Missed there by Jillian Ford. Here's a breakaway for Morrill. Abby Morrill lays it up and in. And Coney, a 2-0 start. Yeah, you'll expect Co Coney, that's their tradition, is to run and they're averaging around 60 points a game, so they're still doing that. And that is good evidence of it right there. Let's weave in a couple of keys here. Yeah, for Brewer. There you go, working it inside to Jillian Ford. Chance for the three-point play. Looks like she has an advantage on the inside. The other thing, uh, Brewer doesn't score a ton of points necessarily. Uh, they're averaging 49.9, so about 50. That compares to uh, 58.9 for Coney, so... Making free throws is big in a game like this. You can get six or seven or eight points from the free throw line. That's points you don't have to manufacture elsewhere as Jillian Ford knocks one down. Jillian now one for two after posting up and completing the three-point play, which is up by one. Here come the Rams, and that shot is deflected. Macy Freeman thought she was fouled. No call there. Long pass, and it's too tall for Jillian Ford. Turnover, Witches. Just a minute into this ball game. This is Fictor, pardon me, this is uh, Cunningham. Got a couple of Morgans out there for Coney, Cunningham and Fictorn, and that's gonna be a Coney turnover. Yeah, some good pressure there by Alley Flagg. If you're Brewer too, you've also got to defend against a three-point shot, as I mentioned. Uh, Coney made 12 three-pointers in their last game, a win over Skowhegan, including 10 in the first half. They scored 40 points in the first half of that game. So you've got to respect that in the half-court defense. And they go inside to Jillian Ford, and they're going to say she pushed off prior to receiving that pass. And that'll be the first against Jillian. You see, that's a point of emphasis for Brewer there, so it's incumbent on Coney to be able to defend in the post. I don't know that Brewer's a team that shoots a ton of three-pointers, so you might be able to play back just a little bit if you're the Rams. Holding on to that dribble is Freeman. Thought she was fouled again. No call. This is Barajas. Macy Freeman picks up the dribble, looking inside, posting up Fictorn, up and under, and the shot off the side of the rim, no good, and Ford cleans it out of there. Ford's had a couple of nice minutes here to start this game, both ends of the court. Well, there's a three for you, Ernie. Miss. Missed by... Alley Flag, who's got the rebound, fighting for it is Gabrielle Roberts, gets it to a teammate, Jillian Ford, and that ball ricocheting off a couple of hands over there, finally going off Jillian Ford. It'll be Ram basketball. Black Bear Nation, the conference schedule for UMaine basketball underway. Catch all of the America East action on the Black Bears, of the Black Bears, I should say. Go online today, goblackbears.com slash tickets, or call the ticket office at 5A1Bear. Entry pass and a foul from behind. That's going to go against Abby Flagg, the freshman in the starting lineup now for Coach Ross. Playing a little help defense there down low. A little late getting to the pass into the post. Picked up her first foul. Spin move and a scoop shot with the left hand. No good by Morrill. 
Again, just one shot for the Rams. Crossover, alley flag into the paint, drops it off. Ford uses the window for two points. Nice job there by Alley Flag with the penetration into the lane. Drew the defense, easy two for the Witches. Yeah, Ford with all five points for the Witches, but that was uh, Alley Flag because she's a scorer. We've seen her score 20 plus on a couple of occasions this year already, and that uh, make, means the defense has to respect her, and she's able to drop the pass down. Morgan Cunningham, the 5 7 senior, drops a three from out top, and we are knotted at five. Five minutes left to go in the first quarter. Two teams right in the middle of the Class A North standings. Coney six and four, Brewer five and five. A couple of teams playing good basketball. The take there by Fictor, no good. Weak side rebound for Cunningham. She'll try a three and she'll knock it down. Got that rebound and calmly went to that left corner, Ernie, before delivering that three. That takes some time to do that, to go away from the basket that much and then turn around and still have the presence of mind and uh, composure to shoot. We were trying to answer a few shots at the hoop. And finally, it's going to be Fictorn with the rebound, and she'll get fouled. Gabrielle Roberts tried a three. Mariah Roberts, Jillian Ford, each with putback opportunities there, but none of the three witches could cash in. Macy Freeman's going to check out for Coney. This is Morrill, and she's got two. That's eight in a row for the uh, Rams. And Coney picking up the defense. It's going to be a double dribble. So the Witches will get it back. In need of a bucket, and Tanner Ross, after the 8-0 run here by the Rams, wants to chat with her team. So a 30-second timeout. We'll take a look at the live events coming your way on Main Sports Leader 92.9, the ticket. Devils and Bruins underway right now on the ticket. Coming up, pregame show at 4 o'clock for that Steelers-Bills game, Ernie, that was scheduled for yesterday. Yeah. One, they're going to play today due to the snowstorm up there. And the Buffalo area. And then Eagles and Buccaneers tonight to round things out. Spurs and Celtics on Wednesday. Got some UMaine women's basketball and more Bruins coming your way on Thursday. <coughs> All right, 4.04 on the clock. Brewer trailing it by five. Gabrielle Roberts has her pass picked off. Here's Mora, a little stutter step move, splits the defense, oh. throws it up there, and it goes down. Wow, that'll make the highlights. Yeah, she did it all there, defensively, offensively, and then a little spin to get the ball off the glass as she was <coughs> going to the ground there for her second basket, third basket of the period. Alley flag, misses the three. Roberts there to pick it up, though, and deals it to Mariah Roberts. Who puts it home? So Gabrielle, the rebound. Mariah with the bucket. And at the other end, Coney forcing the issue. Drawing another foul here. Play a control foul here. Here's the moral hoop. What, watch this. He's going down. But she's <laughs> smart enough to put some spin on it, though. Yep. Curled it in. She knew generally where that basket was. And she's about two and a half feet off the ground when she released it. Cassie LaCroix at the line, missed the first free throw. Barajas checking out, and Freeman coming back in. Today's game brought to you by the local neighborhood marketplace, home of Bill's Bagels. The local features a wide array of grab-and-go sandwiches and subs, groceries, fresh produce, and is an agency liquor store. And don't forget the Beer Cave, the local, 153 Park Street in Orno. Yeah, Brewer got off to a great start, but I'm getting a ton of shots here lately. But now scored 12 to 2. McCroy went one for two at the line. Ill-advised pass there, right into the hands of the Rams. Here comes Fictorn. She sees a lane. She tried to go off glass, but didn't get it high enough. Shot didn't have a chance. Rebound to Brewer. Ford into the front court. 
Still going, and a collision, and that's going to be a foul against Macy Freeman. Yeah, John Dennett, the Coney coach, didn't like that, but little movement out there. Rams foul at number four, Macy Freeman, her second. Today's game also brought to you by Uno Pizzeria and Grill. Check out the happy hour specials at Uno's. Stop in at 725 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. You can order to go by calling 947-5000 or go to unos.com. Allie Flagg misses that one by a goodly distance. 240 left. Kick out. Here's the three by Cunningham. It's going to be short. Long rebound. Scooped up there by Allie Flagg. Surges up the middle of the court, tried to drop it off to Gabrielle Roberts. Somehow she collected that pass, and now we're going to get a three-second yeah. violation. As Gabby got hemmed in there between a couple of Rams. Well, Tony's done a couple of things here. They turned up the pressure defensively. A lot of double teams showing up against the Witches. And, well, there's a three ball, but they've also been taking it hard to the hole as well. That three hit the support above the backboard, so it's going to be Brewer basketball. Cunningham hit those two early threes, and I get it reminded Brewer they had to go out and get the three-point shooters. Well, that's created lanes to the basket within the post, and they're taking advantage of that as well. Mariah Roberts, her three is short. Rebound to Coney. This is Fictorn. Up ahead, Cunningham. Inside, Morrill. Nice spin move there, and she's got two more. Yeah, she looks pretty comfortable, Morrill does, when she gets inside there. Four or five from the field, and one shot spectacular, and the other one's just kind of routine. Oh, alley flag not to be denied there. She kept that low, hard dribble, weaving her way through the Ram defense. Got in front of the hoop and put it home for two. This afternoon's ball game here from Brewer High School, brought to you in part by Acadia Federal Credit Union. Acadia FCU is a full-service financial institution with eight branches, three of them in Bangor. Find out how Acadia can enrich your life at acadiafcu.org. See a look there at the two huddles on our split screen. Coach Dennett for the Rams in the middle of that huddle. Tanner Ross. Head coach for the Brewer Witches in year number one. Her team down by six with 137 left to go here in the first quarter. That's yeah, a uh, Coney pace, no doubt about that so far. Brewer's been hampered by turnovers. You mentioned the defense by Coney. Brewer's already had eight turnovers here in the first quarter. And that's too many compared to the one that Coney has. Close range shot there, rolled off. Rebound to Gabrielle Roberts, Gabby. Trying to get it ahead to Abby Flagg. Tipped out of bounds off the fingertips of the Rams. We're trying to run whenever it can. Coney's doing a good job of getting back here early on. Which is in the half court. Alley Flagg looking inside, nothing there. Crossover dribble again, gets it into the paint. This time, bounced it off her left foot. Now gets it back, tees up the three, and it's wide of the mark. Picked up by the Coney Rams and Cassie LaCroix. Cunningham, nice crossover there against Abby Flagg, Smooth. and she takes it in for two. Smooth drive there. Kind of faked the three, and she's already made a couple, so Brewer had to think about that, and then just a smooth drive to the basket. Abby Flagg goes to Gabrielle Roberts. Three off the iron, no good. Another rebound to LaCroix. She flips it ahead to Freeman. Long pass up court. Taken in by Barajas. Inside, it's Morrill again. And she is having her way inside the lane. Yeah, went with the left hand that time, but again established post position before Brewer could get down defensively. Ball lost. Good hustle there by Morrill. Shot no good, but... Couple of Rams on the weak side and putting it up and in is Morgan Cunningham. This one getting away from the Witches here with 10 seconds left. Yeah, Cunningham with 10 already in this game. Gabrielle Roberts, two seconds. Somebody's got to shoot the basketball here and they don't get it off in time. And a tough ending to that first quarter for the Brewer Witches. They find themselves down 21 to nine. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. The 
day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. We are back here in Brewer. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV team, led by our producer and director, Max Pottle. 21-9 is the score at the end of the first quarter with the Tony Rams on top in this one. Let's take a look at the local shows on Main Sports Leader 92-9, the Ticket. Start your day the right way with the morning roast. You see the crew there at the top, Sullivan, Cruz, Hirsch, and Hoke, and the drive. Cap your day, weekday afternoons four to six. Mark Paulette, and yours truly, Ernie Clark, to my left as he is in that shot right there, and Aaron Jackson as well. All right, Coney has it first here in the second. This is Morrill. She's been going to town down low, missed that scoop shot, and the rebound to Jillian Ford. Yeah, still got another shot. Here's Coney in a 1 3 1 zone. See how Brewer reacts to that. Yeah, very active zone. Keeping the witches away from the basket. Here's Abby Flagg trying a long shot. No good. Jillian Ford, the putback goes. Boy, oh boy, did the witches need that one. Yeah, that's the only downside of that zone there. You, you don't box out as well. Ford Missed took advantage. There by LaCroix. Rebound to Brewer. Chance here for the witches to put couple of hoops back to back. Ooh, tight window there, and it's knocked away, and it's taken back by Allie Flagg. And again, another tight window off the dribble. Those are, those are hard to connect on. And at the other end, a block by the Witches as Montgomery had her shot knocked away. Mariah Roberts looking low. In the ball game for Brewer is number 12, Ainsley Goodwin. She's just a freshman. Roberts will try a two, and again, coming up short. Long rebound, reeled in by Abby Flagg. Tried to loop it inside to Jillian Ford. Knocked out of bounds by Coney. Today's ball game brought to you by Glenburn Landscape and Supply Company for the best in landscaping, landscaping materials, and landscaping <coughs> equipment. It's Glenburn Landscape and Supply Company, 6 Wilson Way in Glenburn, and at glenburnlandscape.com. Long one here. Swirls out. And the rebound to Coney. Cunningham, bounce pass across the lane. Great job there on the save by Barajas. Three no good by Fictorn, and the rebound to Alley Flagg. Alley, the surge, into the paint, pulls up, and hits. I like that, Ernie. Yeah, that's, uh, she's the one that's got to get Brewer's offense going. Both driving, making the long shots, and then also dishing out. Cunningham misses the three. Victorin trying to keep it alive, can't do it. That's a great example, though. If Alley continues to take that ball inside, she's going to meet up against a couple of Rams instead. She put on the brakes and hit the eight-footer. Yeah. Right. And sometime, the next time they'll come out and guard her and there'll be somebody along the baseline that's wide open. It's not easy to do against the 1-3-1 one zone because you've got that player right in the middle of it. Another turnover for Brewer. Oh, there's a handoff to Fictorn. She takes Ooh. it to the hole and she's got it. And she draws the foul. Morgan so Morgan Fictorn will go to the line trying to complete a three-point play. Roberts, her, her first basket first of the game. First. Coney playing pretty well right now. I'll give them the credit for that. Here's Fictorn taking the handoff at the top of the key and just uh, splitting the defense. Gets fouled right at the very end by Mariah Roberts. Going straight to the goal, Ernie, much like the Green Bay Packers yesterday. Again and again and again in the Packers case. The Dallas Cowboys once again. Sentence of sadness. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can't, you don't have another week to kick them around, Jim. <laughs> I know. Then well. they'll get Belichick, and you won't be able to kick them around at all. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh! oh Allie Flagg 
Goes off glass. I don't think that was necessarily the plan, but it worked out for the Witches. He'll take it. He'll take it. They've had a lot just come off the rim and out. Nice deflection there by Mariah Roberts. The senior picks it up, zips it down court, but right there to pick it off was Freeman. Which is right now trying to throw it through people. That shot is short by Moreland, tipped out of bounds off the right hand of Morgan Fichtorn. Entering the game for Coney, number 24, Cassie LaCroix. Coney about seven deep, but they're subbing in pretty, pretty quickly here to give players some rest. Still in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Alley flag goes to Ford. Jillian whips it over to Abby Flag. Her shot comes up shy of the mark. Here come the Rams. Freeman crossing over, uses the left. Ford hustling back to get the rebound for Brewer. Yeah, she lost her balance, did Freeman, just as she was getting ready to go up. Alley flag, quick turn, fire, and miss. Mariah Roberts is tied up by Freeman. Our coverage today brought to you by County Physical Therapy at 82 Sylvan Road in Bangor. For more information, visit them online at countypt.com. Score from Hamden, Bangor Ram Girls 32, Hamden Academy Girls 19 as they play midway through the third quarter. The game also at 929theticket.com and on your ticket app. Timeout called here by Brewer. We'll step aside. 404 left, 24 16 Coney. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Locally family-owned McDonald's, Wilson Street Brewer, Main Street, and Union Street in Bangor are hiring weekend team members. Work full-time or part-time as a second job. Apply online at jobs.mchire.com and learn more about the Archway's tuition assistance to further your education in future. Once again, you can apply online at jobs.mchire.com for openings at Wilson Street and Brewer, Main Street, and Union Street in Bangor for weekend team members. Get started today at jobs.mchire.com. You have to figure out a way to get rid of Dak. We are back here, still talking a little uh, Cowboy football during the break as the Brewer Witches ready to take the floor here with 4.04 left in the first half. Brewer down by 8, 24-16. Brewer's done a better job there ever since Morgan Cunningham had two quick threes to open the game. No more threes for Coney, but it's created space in the lane for Morrill in particular to get to the basket. And then the turnovers offensively have prevented the Witches from getting anything consistent going on offense. In the double figures in that category. Croy hands it off to Morrow. Goes inside to Fictorn. Down goes Flag. Fictorn left the shot short, but she keeps fighting, gets it back, and she goes up and down. Morgan Fictorn, great effort there for the Rams. Yeah, stayed with it. Brewer had the rebound, but uh, Fictorn wouldn't let her escape with it. And a travel there against Alley Flag. See the hard work there by Fictorn, and then, and then beautiful the use up. of the left hand. Yeah, I can't remember if I said this before in the pregame. She went to she was at Winthrop last year, transfer. She was all Mountain Valley Conference first team choice, so she came to Coney with a bit of a pedigree. New ball pinballed around, lead pass Alley Flag, and she missed the layup. Here comes Fictorn with the push, picks up the dribble. Morrow with it now. She goes to work against Ford. Maya Roberts came no. over to help, but neither of them could stop Morrill as she tacks on two more to her total. Yeah, she has 12 now. Essentially let both defenders go by with a little bit of a pump fake and wound up uh, open from eight feet. Abby Morrill, a junior. Ooh, and yep. that'll be a double dribble. Right now the Witches a little... Out of sorts. Yeah, I was going to say discombobulated, but I think we're saying the same thing here. As they, again, it's a pretty aggressive zone defense, as you mentioned, by Coney that's not giving Brewer much uh, freedom to make moves once they get into the half court. We got a peek of this uh, Coney team down in Augusta. We were doing a doubleheader between the Comas and Brewer and saw Coney 
play Lawrence, who's 10 and 0 atop the standings. And that was a pretty close game. Yeah, it was a three-point final. I think it was 63 to 60, but I think it was three points and Lawrence undefeated. Ball blocked out of bounds there off of Coney. Today's game brought to you by Las Palapas. Stop in and discover the delicious and authentic Mexican dishes along with a huge selection of premium Mexican beers and margaritas. Las Palapas and Bangor and Brewer. Jillian Ford, that's going to be a player control foul. Right idea. You've got to attack the basket. Coney fans had that call they a did. split second prior. They saw it coming. The official. You see her there, and there's a good move. Step over there by the help defender. And that was a good call by the official. But right, you can't let the defense come to you and force the issue. You've got to go to them, and that's what Ford was trying to do. Picked up her second foul. Victorn escapes the double team. Nice ball movement there by Coney. This is Cunningham. Floating one up and Ooh. getting the bounce. Tony in control, 30 to 16. Yeah, soft touch there and good patience by the Rams. Allie Flagg trying to get something going here and she will. It's one of her specialties right there, that low dribble driving. She can get through smaller spaces than a lot of point guards. Oh, nice spin move there oh. by Cunningham, and she uses the left hand. We've seen some nice offensive moves by this Coney team. Really have. They're averaging 55 a game, and they're ahead of that pace here right now. And Ford is going to get hacked there. That'll be the first foul on Coney here in the second quarter. Today's game brought to you by Levec Business Solutions for office equipment or office furniture. It's Levec Business Solutions. Call 942-2226. We're also brought to you by Loring Job Corps. Don't settle for training just to get a job. Get training that results in a career. At Loring Job Corps, visit jobcorps.gov. Ball lost into that Coney bench off of the Rams. Well, Brewer would love to get this deficit down to 10 heading into the break, currently trailing by 14. Flag. Goodwin took a look at the hoop. Bounces it back to Alley. Inside, Jillian Ford goes up. She's got two more. Jillian's had a very nice first half. Everybody was so uh, defensively paying attention to Alley Flag that uh, Roberts found Ford in a one-on-one -on -one situation underneath. Close three, no good. Ball tipped into the hands of Jillian Ford. Gets it off to Abby Flag. She heads down to the other end, misses the left-handed shot, and here come the Rams again. Morrill with the rebound. Gets it from Cunningham. Cunningham tees up a three, no good. Long rebound, Rams have it. 25 seconds left to go here in the first half. Cunningham in the corner, she likes that spot. And she hits another three. Yeah, again, that second shot's there. That's offensive rebounding. Set that one up, and that's a third three for Morgan Cunningham. Steal by Coney. Abby Morrill, breakaway, and lays it in. And right now, the Coney defense smothering the Witches, and they are turning defense into offense. 37 to 20, Coney. Two strong quarters. Uphill climb for the Witches. We'll talk about it more when we come back. Up next, the Heroes Halftime Show on Ticket TV. Hello, Maine. This is Steve McKay. It's a wintry mix out there, but pockets of orange are standing out against the white blanket of snow throughout the state. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes just like yours. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. Selling is all about relationships and building trust. At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Pay no interest on a John Deere Select Series lawn tractor paid in full within nine months. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. Zinc, a mineral vital to our health. 
Not enough of it, your body may not be able to repair DNA, synthesize insulin, or heal even simple wounds. Too much of it may interfere with absorption of iron and copper, which you also need. The solution? A zinc test. It's super simple and you can do it right at home. Contact Thriving Proof for more information. Thriving Proof, heal from the inside out. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. We've got a hundred year old company here and it's because of the service, the quality, and the experience. It gets done right. I think we've been doing it for so long. The only thing that we do, that when we walk into a room, we automatically know how to treat that window. We can take any product that the customer's looking for and make it work in just about any situation that they present us with. So. There's no reason to be overwhelmed. No. We can help you through yeah. it. We're not going anywhere. We've been around for 100 years. <laughs> Welcome back to Brewer High School. Halftime score, Coney 37, Brewer 20. Rams lined up by a dozen at the end of the first quarter, extended that lead with some strong defense and uh, making it work at the offensive end as well. Fan Cam brought to you by UMaine Athletics. Again, your home for UMaine Athletics is Sports Radio 92.9, the ticket, football, men's ice hockey, women's basketball, men's basketball, and baseball on Maine Sports Leader. And once again, it's uh, good times right now for UMaine Athletics uh, getting that uh, significant donation. Once again, oh, another boy. one from yep. the Harold Alphon Foundation uh, hockey team, a top 10 team in the country, and women's basketball off to a great start in uh, America's play. Men's uh, still looking for that first victory. Let's see if they can get that this week all right let's move on to our halftime highlights here on the heroes halftime show again heroes the official sports grill of ticket tv located in downtown bangor and heroes sports grill.com halftime highlights are brought to you by next home experience for the third straight year the market leader next home experience here comes coney on a fast break there's moral Getting inside, as she did numerous times here. That's Jillian Ford on the inside. Brewer got out to a 5-2 to two lead, but it wouldn't last too long, although there's Ford again to make it 5-2. to two. And then Morgan Cunningham started to unload from distance, made a three from the key, then got an offensive rebound, went out to the left corner, knocked down another one, and that gave Coney the lead that they've maintained since then. Much as play by Morrill. That's a play of the game uh, contender right there. Brewer gets the ball inside to Mariah Roberts, and she scores from the post. There's Morrow once again. Very comfortable. Might have stepped on the line. Uh, Allie Flag, but she got the basket. Nice drive. There's Cunningham showing her ability to drive to the basket as well as shoot from the outside. And again, Morrow getting in the post that time. There with the rebound is Cunningham as well. Cunningham with 17 in the first half, by the way. Here comes Allie Flag. Nice little pull up there. Keep Brewer within single digits at that point. Then you see Morgan Fichthorn driving to the basket. Deep three by Allie Flag. Here's Fichthorn again, out fighting a couple of the Brewer players for a loose ball underneath the basket and scoring. There's uh, Morrill once again. Boy, anything inside of about eight feet. She's money. Nice little English there by Allie Flag to score. There's Morgan Cunningham, a floater from the lane. Nice look inside to Jillian Ford. She posted up well. There's uh, Morgan Cunningham again. She had four threes. Here comes Abby Morrill for the drive off a turnover. 
Then maybe the shot of the half here. Maddie Chassis. Yes. Using the window as part of the First Two program. For part of the First Two program sponsored by First National Bank. Dave Utterback with the fist bump in uh, lieu of the absent uh, Brent Solokowski. Yeah, the, the fist bumping principal just hasn't been uh, hanging out here uh, much this year. We might have some, some sort of <laughs> ulnar nerve issue. Who knows? That's right. <laughs> Resting up. All right, uh, that's going to do it for the halftime highlights here on Ticket TV. 37 to 20, Coney with the lead. High school basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you in part by Thriving Proof. See Jen Goddard at Thriving Proof, 141 North Main Street in Brewer. To manage your health naturally, visit thrivingproof.com. Thriving Proof, healing from the inside out. And we're also brought to you by Mainly Audio. Give a loved one or yourself a warm vehicle this winter season with a remote car starter from Mainly Audio in Ellsworth. Call 667-9777. To set up your appointment today. Ernie, you got some first half numbers for us? I do. Score at halftime is Coney 37 and Brewer 20 for the Coney Rams. Morgan Cunningham with a game high 17 points, including three, four, six from beyond the arc. Abby Morrill with 14 points, working the inside. Five for Morgan Fichtorn and one for Cassie LaCroix for their total of 37 for the Brewer Witches. Nine points for Allie Flagg, nine for Jillian Ford, and two for Mariah Roberts for their total of 20. Big story here, turnovers. 18 for Brewer and six for Coney here in the first half. And Coney's been able to take good advantage of those extra opportunities in transition. Game recap, in this case the halftime recap, brought to you by Novus Autoglass in Bangor. We're also brought to you by the ground round. Looking for a good time and great food with family and friends? We'll see you at the ground round after the game. And our coverage here from Brewer High School also brought to you by Varney Mazda for Mazda sales and service. It's your local trusted dealer, Varney Mazda, 260 Hogan Road in Bangor. We'll take a timeout when we come back. Second half action, Rams and Witches on Ticket TV. You deserve a clean car. Let the pros at Dean's Detailing renew your vehicle's appearance and protect your auto investment. Enjoy your ride. Dean's gift cards are the perfect fit. Dean'sDetailing.com. Your locally family-owned McDonald's, Wilson Street Brewer, Main Street, and Union Street in Bangor are hiring weekend team members. Work full-time or part-time as a second job. Apply online at jobs.mchire.com and learn more about the Archways tuition assistance to further your education and future. Once again, you can apply online at jobs.mchire.com for openings at Wilson Street and Brewer, Main Street, and Union Street in Bangor for weekend team members. Get started today at jobs.mchire.com. Hello Maine, this is Steve McKay. It's a wintry mix out there, but pockets of orange are standing out against the white blanket of snow throughout the state. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes just like yours. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. Underway here in half number two, Coney with the first possession. They lead this ball game 37 to 20. Very strong first half by the Rams at both ends of the floor. This is Abby Morrill. She was one of the standouts in the first 16 minutes. And almost a takeaway there by Allie Flagg, but she's gonna get called for the foul. Starting five for the Witches here in half number two. Same five that started the ball game. Mariah Roberts, Jillian Ford, Abby Flagg, Allie Flagg, and Gabby Roberts. Here's an inbounds play to Fictorn. Missed the first attempt, but the second one Goes down, Morgan Fictorn out there, along with Macy Freeman. Kaylee Barajas, Abby Morrill, and Morgan Cunningham. Starting five for Coach John Dennett. Coney back in that 1-3-1 one, one zone, has served him so well in the first half. Looks like the Witch is trying to spread the floor just a little bit, but that pass 
Gets away from Roberts and caught in between there by uh, was Morrill for Coney as she got up in the air. I think she wanted to see a teammate off to her left. And here's Macy Freeman rattling one in. So Coney picking up right where they left off in the first half. Had four three, uh, three threes in the first half, and one here in the second already. And again, it's more of the same. Again, Brewer trying to post up Jillian Ford. Nice entry pass and catch there by Jillian. She puts it home. Perfectly placed there by Ali Flagg. Yeah, and there was another defender that came over, so a real nice job by Ford to not let that get to her after she had gotten the pass over one defender. But Rajas into the lane, puts it up with the left. No good. Offensive rebound. Fictorn put back, won't go. Fictorn another rebound. Here's Morrill for three. No good. Finally, oh, that was brief. Gabrielle Roberts had it for a split second. Another miss by the Rams. And finally, it is Jillian Ford coming away with that rebound. Here's Allie Flack bouncing it right. Ford goes up strong, but it's off the bottom of the rim as she stumbled just a little bit as she was going up. And Coney comes away with it. Freeman. Morrill diving into the paint, lost it, gets it back, scoop, no good, but a foul against Brewer. Coney just attacking at both ends yeah, of the floor. Yeah, and they're, they're a half a step ahead on just yeah. about everything here. Morrill, they tell me, is a very good field hockey player. You see the athleticism she's shown from 15 feet and in throughout this game. Free throw by Abby, no good. 5.41 left in the third, 20 point lead for Coney. Today's game brought to you by Tiller and Rye, a local grocer located at 20 South Main Street in Brewer. Proud to offer products from right here in the great state of Maine. One for two at the line for Abby Morrill. Kaylee Barajas checking out. LaCroix coming back into the ball game for Coach Dennett. Cassie LaCroix, 5'6 junior, and she picks off the pass. Three on one, pull up shot is off, no good. Rebound to Mariah Roberts for Brewer. Long pass ahead, Gabby Roberts, three, wide of the mark, into the hands of Jillian Ford, and Jillian will draw the foul. Brewer was able to get it inside on that play, but one of the issues that the Witches are facing out more on the perimeter is the fact that Morrill at about 5'8 or 5'9 is playing at the point on that 1-3-1, one, one, and she's getting her hands and arms in the way of passes across the, across the court there. Witches need to take advantage of every opportunity at the free throw line. Jillian Ford off the front of the rim there. Second one is up, and this one is all net. Back to a 20-point deficit for the Witches. Ooh. Big collision there between LaCroix and Allie Flagg. Ball is going to be off of Brewer. Upcoming broadcast here on Ticket TV. Again, that game going on at the stable in Hamden right now. Just about three minutes left. Bangor's lead down to 11, 40 to 29. Missed there by LaCroix. Gabby Roberts with the rebound. Coming up tomorrow, Ernie, we're going to be down in Ellsworth. Big one there, Old Town. And Ellsworth boys, same thing with the, on the girls' side on Wednesday. And we also have Nokomis taking on Hamden at the stable on the boys' side. Yeah, boys were one and two, Old Town and Ellsworth. And I, the girls were probably about the same. Missed by Coney. Rebound alley flag. Here's Jillian Ford going to work. And I'm going to say it's knocked out of bounds off of Macy Freeman. Today's game brought to you by Bangor Tire Company. From a lawnmower to a skidder, Bangor Tire Company has you covered since 1927. The best in tires and service. Find them at 514 Colebrook Road in Herman or at bangortire.com. As Morrill with her hand on another pass. Here's the lead to Morrill. Puts on the brakes, right side of the lane. This is the shot. Here comes Gabby Roberts with the push, and she's going to travel. Ainsley Goodwin coming in. Abby Flagg's going to check out. 
It's about halfway through the third quarter. Coney looking for their seventh win of the season against four defeats. Cunningham along the baseline, pass intended for Barajas. A save there by Kaylee, shot off the side of the rim. And the rebound to Goodwin. <coughs> Here's Gabby Roberts. Got the shot off, but missed it. And the ball knocked out of bounds off of Brewer. Very little uncontested <coughs> for Brewer on the offensive end. Credit the Coney defense here today. Morrill. And the shot knocked out of bounds off of Gabby Roberts. Tony Minnis just six points so far in this period. There's been opportunities for Brewer to cut into the deficit, but. And we got a block. Goes against Barajas. Forty-three twenty-three, three twenty-one left in the third. Which is looking for any kind of offense here. And Alley Flag loses it. Lead pass picked up by Morrill. And shot no good. Roberts right there with the rebound for Brewer. And now it's stolen by Coney. Cunningham all alone lays it in. And another oh, takeaway here by the Rams. This is Freeman, too far underneath the backboard. Gets it back, she'll fire up a three. That's off the side of the rim. And Mariah Roberts, another rebound for Brewer. Uh, again, nonstop pressure here. And speeding up the witches. Yes. Faster than they want to be playing, and it leads to, it's led to a lot of turnovers. and. Probably a three-second violation, but. Ainsley Goodwin sweeps up the basketball and goes off glass for two. Yep, Coney has Brewer playing at their pace, and the Witches rushing a lot of things here this afternoon. You get the rebound there. Chance to get it oh. under 20, but Mariah Roberts knocks over Macy Freeman. That's a half a dozen player control fouls, Eve. On. School profile time, Ernie, brought to you by Northeast Driving School. All righty, enrollment 679 for Coney High School from the capital city of Augusta, Kimberly Liscomb, principal T.J. Maines, former boys basketball coach, the athletic administrator for the Rams. Did you know Albert T. Fuller built this 12-story observatory building beside the Kennebec River? Huh. <clears throat> It fell in a windstorm on December 31st, <laughs> New Year's Eve, yeah. 1895. Great way to start but That's what year. it looked like. Five years earlier in 1890 before it became the leading tower of Augusta, I yeah. guess. Yes. Later on, it looked like a pile of wood. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Alley flag for two. Cunningham looking to answer. No good. And it's going to go off of Brewer. So it'll be Coney basketball. Here comes the Brewer school profile. 705, the enrollment. Brent Slowakowski, the principal. David Otherback, the athletic administrator for the Witches. Did you know John Brewer, who's the founder of Brewer, by the way, built his home in this area that you see on the screen? The White House near the church was possibly his home, although <laughs> the exact location is still being debated. Ah. So controversy regarding the uh, namesake of the town of Brewer. Still of Brewer. a lot of question marks in Brewer history, like yes. that right there. Like, is that yes. John Brewer's house? You got to find out. Oh, and the other one we had last time, Ernie. The where did the witch come oh, from? Oh, right, Ex exactly. We still Great. don't know. A lot of vagaries there. Somebody needs we to, need answers. Somebody needs to write the write the history of Brewer, I think, <laughs> or rewrite it. I'll do that in my spare time. There's a miss by Allie Flag. Offensive rebound, Gabby Roberts. She gets fouled on the way up. 
Today's game brought to you by Novus Auto Glass. Call Novus Auto Glass today at 945-6488 to get your windshield repaired or replaced. And we're also brought to you by Praise Auto Sales. Check out the impressive inventory and weekly specials at 1722 Broadway in Bangor or at praiseautosales.com. Gabby Roberts hits the first. Abby Morrill, a well-deserved break for the Coney Rams with just about 33 seconds on the clock. Second free throw, no good by Roberts. And the rebound to Fictorn. Outlet to Cunningham. A couple of Morgans teaming up there. And that's going to be a carry against Morgan Cunningham. Our ball game also brought to you by the Fitch Company, where you'll find experienced electrical and control systems engineers Field technicians, designers, and drafters ready to meet varied engineering challenges or handle projects. Visit them at FitchCompany.com. Travel against Jillian Ford and the Witches. Full court pressure now from Brewer. Morrill's out of the game right now for Coney. She's one of their ball handlers. That one poked away by Abby Flag. Can't get to it. LaCroix being harassed in backcourt. Whips it ahead. And Goodwin knocked it away. But the buzzer sounds. And that'll do it for quarter number three. 47-28. Coney in charge. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Yes, you. Are you between the ages of 16 and 24 trying to plan your future? Let the dedicated team at Job Corps get you headed in the right direction. Earn your diploma or get certified in a vocation in less than a year. Call today to change your life. Hi, Todd from Dorsey Furniture here with great news for anybody contemplating new furniture in the new year. Right now and until January 8th, selected floor samples throughout our showroom are half off the list price. These items won't last long and delivery will cost you a little extra, so bring your truck or trailer and take home the beautiful new furniture you've been waiting for. Dorsey Furniture Route 1A Holden, open seven days a week. Start the new year with beautiful new furniture from Dorsey Furniture. Live well, my friends. Welcome back to Brewer High School. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark here in the Dean's Detailing Broadcast booth. Class A North matchup. Coney in town to take on the Witches. And the Rams playing some good basketball here, leading Brewer 47 to 28. Abby Flag whips it out to Alley. Here's a three up by Alley Flag, and she knocks it down. That makes it a 16 point contest. Still time for the Witches. Yeah, need some stops at this end. Morgan Cunningham launches a three. That's no good. Rebound to Brewer and Allie Flag. Allie to surge up the right side. All alone, Abby Flag underneath. Doesn't get the shot to go, but draws the foul. And Abby will be at the line for a pair. Look at that quick pass there from sister to sister. And Abby goes up and gets hip checked and couldn't make the shot. We'll get a chance to uh, make this a little bit of 5 0 run to start the fourth quarter. Free throw is good. Nice home court bounce there for Abby. Now it's 15 points. Second one, too strong. Offensive rebound, Goodwin. She puts it up. That is short. And the ball picked off there by LaCroix. LaCroix steaming into the front court. Deals it left, but it's going to be picked off by Goodwin. She had it poked away from behind. Ainsley. Keeping it alive, and Brewer timeout. had a brief possession there, and Tanner Brewer, Ross gets the timeout. So a little momentum here for the home team. Yeah, nice start. I mean, four points and a couple of stops at the defensive end, including that turnover there, thanks to the hustle of freshman Ainsley Goodwin. And uh, now Brewer needs to match the uh, defense with a little bit more offense. Here's our upcoming broadcast schedule. I think that game in uh, Hamden may have gone final. Bangor was up by 10 with a couple minutes left to go.
Tomorrow night, we will be traveling to Ellsworth High School for a big one in Class B. Old Town Coyotes still undefeated. They'll be uh, taking on the Eagles of Ellsworth. Had a great game earlier in the season up at McKenzie Gym. We were there. We'll be there tomorrow night. Old Town Ellsworth girls on Wednesday, along with the Comus and Hamden boys on Wednesday. That should be an interesting one. Yeah, some weather issues potentially tomorrow, which makes yes. me think you might get a varsity doubleheader there on Wednesday down in Ellsworth if we like doubleheaders. the snow comes. That'd be a heck of a doubleheader there. Old Town and Ellsworth in both uh, boys and girls. We like doubleheaders a lot. Nothing official yet, though. Right. Mother Nature will have the final say on that one. Yeah, Mother Nature's playing a little catch-up here lately. Well, she can play catch-up for the rest of the winter. Oh, hit there by Macy Freeman from outside the arc. And yeah. Coney, even though they have a big lead, that makes them feel a little bit better. Well, that... Uh, Kind of erases all the good work that uh, Brewer had done in the first minute or so of this period. And again, Abby Morrill just uh, doing all the right things there. That was the pass was kicked out from the baseline out to the top, and she quickly got the ball over to uh, Freeman, who was the shooter who was wide open in that situation, and Freeman knocked it down. Yeah, Morrill has been impressive from the get-go for the Rams here this afternoon. Reminds me a little of Lucy Wiles of Hampton in that she can do a little bit of everything out there. Partially blocked on the shot there by LaCroix. Alley flag. On the wing. Look at sister Abby briefly, now goes to Goodwin. Abby flag, floats it up, off the back of the rim, gets her own rebound, goes up again and does not get the roll and the rebound to Fictorn for Coney. Here come the Rams. LaCroix. Little hop skip there while maintaining the dribble. Timeout call by Coney. Today's game brought to you by Angelo's Pizzeria. If you're in the mood for mouth watering pizza or Italian food made from fresh ingredients, come to Angelo's Pizzeria in Bangor and Hamden. We are also brought to you by Bangor Floral. Make memories, send flowers from Bangor Floral in the in-town plaza, 332 Harlow Street in Bangor. Little Witches trailing 50 to 32, 534 left to go in the ball game. High School Basketball and Ticket TV also brought to you by Union Street Laundromat and Dry Cleaning. For over 30 years, Bangor's best dry cleaners ask about their military and senior citizen discounts, open seven to seven, seven days a week at 1001 Union Street in Bangor. Let's take a look at the uh, recent action and upcoming schedules here for these two teams. We'll start with the Rams. Won two out of the last three. The only loss was a, to a Spruce Mountain team. It was the Class B South champion a year ago and took Ellsworth right to the wire in the state championship game. And a nice win over uh, Scott Higley. We mentioned the 12 threes that the Rams hit in that game in the most recent outing. They're back in action at home later in the week against Mount Blue. Cunningham scoops it up, no good. Rebound Mariah Roberts. Here comes Alley Flag, and good hustle by Cunningham, knocking that one away across the end line. Today's game also brought to you by the Not So Empty Nest. Find a gift for you and those you love at the Not So Empty Nest, 1209 Broadway in Bangor. Long shot there by Allie Flagg. No good. Offensive rebound. Jillian Ford, but it's taken away by Coney. Now a tie-up. Three players involved there. It's going to be Brewer basketball. Here's the Brewer recent action. Three in a row for the Witches coming into today's game. And <laughs> home to Camden Hills on Friday and home to Hamden next Tuesday. Both those games you'll also be able to see here on Ticket TV. And that Camden Hills will, game will be part of a doubleheader between the Windjammers and the Witches. You like doubleheaders. Yes. Very efficient. Empty trip there for the Rams. Alley flag trying to go all the way. Shot off the bottom of the backboard. Ball.
Quarrel thought about the three, and she travels. Yeah. In hindsight, try it. A country song called The Thinking Problem, and that was <laughs> not a problem, but it was just she was indec indecisive in terms of what she wanted to do there and got caught with the turnover. It was very harsh, Ernie. Yeah, I was. I wasn't. I was just it's something you'd use on the drive describing one of your co-hosts. My old country roots. <laughs> Missed by Brewer. Rebound, Ficktorn. Sorry about Barajas. that, Abby. And a travel against the Rams. I have thinking problem quite regularly. All right, here is a pitcher and pitcher break on Ticket TV. First National Bank is a proud supporter of Brewer Witches Basketball. Brewer High School participates in the first two programs sponsored by First National Bank and earns up to $150 for every home basketball game. Dream first and go Witches! Cassie LaCroix with 2-4 Coney. They've got their 20-point lead back. Allie Flagg will draw a foul at this end. Let's see LaCroix, 5'6", junior. Allie Flagg misses the free throw. Abby Roberts going to check in for Abby Flagg. Second free throw is no good. And the rebound to Barajas. Ahead to LaCroix. Morrill pulls up and misses the shot. Victorn has been a terror on the boards. Offensive rebound there for Morgan, and she puts it in. And we have a timeout on the floor here with 3.15 left. Big lead for the Coney Rams as they look to improve to 7-4. and four. Our ball game today brought to you in part by Tim's Plumbing, where service is their specialty for all of your plumbing needs. It's Tim's Plumbing. Call 735-4969 or visit Tim's Plumbing Main. Dot com. And we're also brought to you by Brewer Redemption Center in the North Brewer Shopping Center. Brewer Redemption Center, convenient, efficient, offers excellent parking at 391 North Main Street in Brewer. And you look at the Class A standings here in the North. Lawrence, 10 0. Camden Hills, start of the day at 6 5. Coney at 6 4. Looks like they'll be 7 4. Hamden Academy now 5 4. Brewer will be five and six. Skowhegan was at 500 coming in. Gardner just a couple of games under 500. So things kind of bottled up there. Yeah, eight of those top, Lawrence. top eight qualify for postseason play out of the 10 in the division. But yeah, once you get past Lawrence there, it's uh, tight quarters. All those, this will help Coney perhaps slip past Camden Hills, depending on what they're doing today or tomorrow. Under three minutes left to go. Oh, nice feed to Mariah Roberts, who had the inside position on Cunningham. As Allie Flagg was dribbling underneath the basket, found her teammate for two. Missed there by Coney, rebound to Goodwin. Here's Jillian Ford going to work. That shot or pass deflected into the hands of Goodwin. And Gabby Roberts will get fouled on the way up. High School Sports on Ticket TV, also brought to you by Bennett Auto Center. Experience the Bennett Auto Center difference at 99 Thatcher Street in Bangor and at BennettAutoCenter.com. This is Gabby Roberts, the dip and the miss there. 
We're also brought to you by Comfort Shoes and More, offering a vast selection of men's and women's athletic casual dress and work shoes from the leading brands, Comfort Shoes and More, 19 Moosehead Trail in Newport. 0 for 2 at the line for Roberts. Barajas finally picking up the loose basketball. Approaching the two-minute mark in this one. Two of boys were at Coney this afternoon. Pull-up shot here by Morrill, and she's going to end up at the line. She gets fouled by Jillian Ford. That should be an interesting, it could be an interesting game. Brewer and Coney on the boys' side. It was a week or so ago, Coney was hosting Hamden in an afternoon game. I think it was on a Saturday, and it was a runner from about 18 feet by Zach McLaughlin at the buzzer that uh, kept Hamden with just one loss on the season. As they're, they're now both the boys and the girls teams starting to catch up in terms of uh, mm. game totals. Barajas, offensive rebound. Can't get it to go, and Ainsley Goodwin's got somebody's hand <laughs> stuck between her arm and her side, and that was Fictorn who got spun around there, but it, she's going to pick up the foul. Picked up number four there. One fifty left, alley flag. And the ball knocked free, players on the floor, and a tie-up is going to give the ball to the Coney Rams. Coney Rams. Final score from Hamden in that girls game, Bangor and the Hamden Academy Broncos. The Rams of Jay Kimball pick up the 47-34 win. That's Bangor at their best when they're allowing in the low to mid-30s. That was basically what their average was before they ran into Chevrolet there, right. sadly, or so ago. That was the first of what three consecutive losses, including one to the Brewer Witches at the buzzer. Foul coming here against Jillian Ford. Today's game brought to you by the Farmer's Table. For home-style cooking just like Mom makes, it's the Farmer's Table, 15 Stetson Road in Corinna. Pass comes in to Morrill. It's funny, I think Coach John Dennett expected his team to be shooting, but again, it's new this year where we're resetting the uh, team fouls after each quarter. So you don't see as many free throws, it doesn't seem like, at least. Still by Allie Flagg, she's got a step, and she's got two points. Allie's got 16 on the afternoon. Oh, oh, rejection there by Jillian Ford. Could hear her hand swat that one away. Yeah, you see those scoop shots, it leaves you kind of susceptible to this because you're not bringing the ball starting up. Starting low, yeah. Yeah, you're starting very low. But Morrill's had some good success, particularly in the first half with those kind of shots from the post. Teams with their starters out there, basically, here towards the tail end of this one. I don't think yeah, Coney. five-second violation here? Yeah, I don't think Coney has a ton of depth numbers-wise. He's been rotating players in, but. Right on cue, whoops. That's gonna be number five, Indeed. Hannah Kidd, Indeed. sophomore. Hannah Kidd. Gonna replace LaCroix. 41 seconds left. A pass inside, Ford finally collects, now turns and runs into Fictorn. And his kid also went down. Let's see, the foul is going to go against Fictorn. That's five on her. Very active on the boards while she was in there, Morgan Fictorn. Also, I believe, double figures in scoring indeed, 11 points. She may be close to that in terms of rebounds as well. 
Today's game brought to you by Hartford's Auto Service, a family-owned and operated automotive repair shop for all major and minor auto repairs. It's Hartford's Auto Service, 62 Liberty Drive in Herman. Jillian Ford gets the bounce. We're also brought to you by the Village Kitchen in Herman, where every meal feels like home. Serving ready-to-eat meals for singles to large families. Follow the Village Kitchen on Facebook for the weekly menu and bring the taste of home to your table. Wogan picked on 11 points, 11 rebounds mm. for Coney. Kid tries the shot, miss. Rebound Goodwin for Brewer. 14 seconds left. Final eight seconds, dangerous pass there. Batted away by Morrill, but picked up by Flag. Two seconds left, three is too strong, and that will do it in this one. The Coney Rams travel north from Augusta. They defeat the Borough Witches by a final of 55 to 38. Coney now seven and four, Brewer falls to five and six. We'll take a break. Coming up next is the Quirk Auto Group post game show right here on Ticket TV. High School Sports on Ticket TV is presented by Quirk Auto Group. Visit quirkauto.com. McDonald's on Main Street and Union Street in Bangor and Wilson Street in Brewer. Greenway Equipment Sales. Nothing runs like a deer in Bangor and Ellsworth. Firehouse Subs at 920 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. Next Home Experience. And by Heroes Sports Grill and Entertainment Center in downtown. Your local professional eco-friendly office space partner is Levesque Business Solutions, your one-stop shop to get the job done. Handling all your office furniture and printing machine needs at an affordable price. Offering full system integration into your workplace and local service on everything we sell. We can even remote monitor your system with just-in-time inventory and service need assessments. Little to no downtime gives you peace of mind. At Levesque Business Solutions, your solution is only an email or a phone call. Thanks. Friendly, honest, and clean. Counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. Hello Maine, this is Steve McKay. It's a wintry mix out there, but pockets of orange are standing out against the white blanket of snow throughout the state. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes just like yours. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. You deserve a clean car. Let the pros at Dean's Detailing renew your vehicle's appearance and protect your auto investment. Enjoy your ride. Dean's gift cards are the perfect fit. Dean'sDetailing.com. Heroes Sports Grill and Entertainment Center offers fantastic food and drinks in a fun, family-friendly atmosphere with 29 flat-screen TVs for your sports viewing pleasure and an arcade with prizes for the whole family to enjoy. Whether you're looking for a drink at the bar while watching your favorite sports team or trying to find a place to bring the family for a great meal out, Heroes is the place to be. Heroes also offers takeout or catering for any event in the Bangor area, large or small. Come for the food. Stay for the friends. We are back here at Brewer High School, and it's time for the Quirk Auto Group post-game show. You see the final score right there in this Class A North girls matchup. Coney picking up their seventh win of the season, dropping the Brewer Witches to five and six. Post-game show brought to you by Quirk Auto Group. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. Visit quirkauto.com. Quirk Auto Group celebrating 50 years. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and the Dean's Detailing broadcast booth as we get ready to tee up the post-game highlights. And again, from the outset, Brewer had a decent start. Their game was uh, tied or very close to the first half of the first quarter, but then Coney really turned up the defensive pressure, hit some threes, and turned a lot of that defense into offense, Ernie. Yeah, Brewer scored, uh, well, it was 5-2. to two. They trailed 2-0, and then uh, Jillian Ford Scored five straight points. Here's the first basket of the game right there by uh, 
Morrill of Coney, and there's Jillian Ford working on the inside. She had a nice game today. And there's a nice dish there from Alley Flag to uh, Ford. It's five to two. And then uh, Morgan Cunningham ties it with the first of her th uh, three threes. And there, grabbing an offensive rebound, going to the left corner, and knocking down another one to give Coney the lead. There's Abby Morrill getting to the baseline. Here she goes again, this time flipping it up and using the spin to get it to go through. Good play there by Mariah Roberts. And there's Morrill once again working the post. There's Allie Flagg getting around the defense along the baseline. Here comes Morgan Cunningham again with a drive. Nice smooth drive there. Nice pass, bounce pass, one-handed to Morrill for two more. And there's Morrill again missing for the baseline, but, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the follow-up shot is good. That's some good action on the offensive boards by Jillian Ford. And now Allie Flagg pulls up in the lane. Cunningham to Fickdorn for a drive. There's Allie Flagg from deep for Brewers' only three-pointer of the afternoon. That was mm. a bank shot. Fickdorn again working the inside. And here's Morrill. Draws contact. Waits for them to go by and then goes up and scores. Here's Allie Flagg again. Use a little strength there to get it up after the shot was initially contested. Come the Witches again. Again, there's Jillian Ford on the baseline. Nice job of positioning herself that time. And there's Morgan Cunningham with her third three of the afternoon. Here comes a fast break. Abby Moore, I think, is right at the end of the first half. And then the uh, perhaps the most uh, well, it was very successful. Productive. Yes, indeed. Picked up a water bottle there. It was Maddie water Chassie. The $50 for Brewer High School. Yes. I think we have second half highlights here now. And there is uh, number four. That's Macy Freeman for three. This uh, Ford once again for Brewer. Turnover. A lot of turnovers out near the midcourt line. Abby Morrow with a steal to Morgan Cunningham. Loose ball situation to Ainsley Goodwin. And there's Allie Flagg again. She attacks. Five foot one, but she's attacking the basket all the time. Nice inbounds play there to pick one wide open. Here's the. Uh, ah, she did have two in the game. Allie Flagg. There's Macy Freeman again. Here's Cassie LaCroix, a little runner on the pass break. Nice pass there for a layup. I think that was Maddie Roberts again. And there's uh, yep. there's uh, Alley Flag again, but too much Coney this <coughs> afternoon. All right, there you go. Post game highlights brought to you by Next Home Experience for the third straight leader, the market leader. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you by Bangor Window Shade and Drapery, offering custom blinds, shades, drapery, and outdoor awnings. Bangor Window Shade, 105 Main Street in Bangor. And we're also brought to you by Hillside Athletics. At Hillside Athletics, they are passionate about sports and feature cutting-edge equipment to help you better your game, featuring golf zone simulators, hit tracks, batting cages, and baseball training with Trevor DeLate. Elevate your game at Hillside Athletics. Visit hillsideathletics.com. All right, we will uh, step aside here. No, first, Ernie, let's give you uh, time for your your stats. Oh, okay. Game recap. Sure. Final score once again was Coney 55 and Brewer 38 for the Coney Rams. Morgan Cunningham led the way with 19 points, 17 coming in the first half. Abby Morrill with 16 points, 15 coming in the first half. Uh, Morgan Fichtorn, 11 points, 11 rebounds. Six points for Macy Freeman and three for Cassie LaCroix for their total of 55. For the Brewer Witches, Allie Flagg led the way with 16 points, including a couple of three-pointers. 14 points, nine rebounds for Jillian Ford. Four points for Mariah Roberts. Two points and nine rebounds for Ainsley Goodwin and a point apiece for Abby Flagg and Gabby Roberts for their total of 38 turnovers in the game. Brew 27, Coney 13. And the game recap brought to you by Novus Auto Glass in Bangor. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back, hand out our post-game honors, play of the game, player of the game on the way. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the visions of celebrating with family and friends this holiday season. Give the perfect gift to get you where you need to be all year long with Milwaukee Tools for any job. 
Milwaukee's Impact Driver and Ratchet Sets will get you up and going and receive a free M12 battery instantly when you buy an Impact Driver and Ratchet Set in any of Coastal Auto Parts' 29 locations. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a Maine family that cares. At Midco Central Design, we truly understand the importance of offering an affordable treatment plan that always considers your needs first. We create beautiful new full and partial dentures as well as offering repairs and relines to your current dentures. We want your denture to fit comfortably, be affordable, and most of all make you happy. At Midco Center Design, your smile is what matters most. In fact, it's our job to make sure you have a smile you can be proud of at a price you can afford. Call Midco Center Design because everyone deserves to have an awesome smile. Life is so much better when you impact the lives of those around you. And with Creative Options, you will. Creative Options provides services and support to adults with intellectual disabilities. And right now, Creative Options is looking for shared living providers who take clients into their own homes, kind of like adult foster care. You'll enjoy a generous, tax-free stipend to work from home and make a difference in someone's life. To apply for this tremendous opportunity, simply visit creativeoptionsllc.org. That's creativeoptionsllc.org. One buff a slow ride to go. Thank you. And could you tell me how to get to Down East Toyota? Oh, that's easy. All roads lead to Down East. Don't settle for a slow ride. Come check out Toyota's lineup of all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles. The 2024 Tundras are here now. These rugged trucks give you premium comfort, but will tackle your off-road adventures with exceptional towing power and traction. See them all at DownEastToyota.com. I'll have a bacon care of business. And why don't you order the king of the road? All roads lead to Down East on Wilson Street in Brewer. Hammond Lumber Company is honored to have again been named one of the best places to work in Maine. Hammond Lumber recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction. They provide a positive workplace environment with opportunities to grow. Hammond has continued to grow too, with more team members across Maine and New Hampshire. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hammond Lumber Company, proud to be one of the best places to work in Maine. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With a new location in Bangor, County Physical Therapy brings a 30-year history of high-performance, outcome-based rehab to the Great Skates Plaza at 82 Sylvan Road. And with priority scheduling, you get seen in days, not weeks. Remember, it's your choice. Make the best choice. County Physical Therapy, now in Bangor. Call them today at 401-43. We are back here at Brewer High School for the final time this afternoon as the Coney Rams defeat the Brewer Witches by a 58-38 score. This is the Quirk Auto Group postgame show, and time now to announce our play of the game. Ernie, it came relatively early in this one, but kind of signified how things might go for the Rams this afternoon. Yeah, it was a bit of a circus show, but it was kind of symbolic at the same time. Here's Abby Moe splitting two defenders, going down as she did. She <laughs> never really even looked at the basket, but knew about where she was based on where the where the lane markings were and flipped it in with some a uh, little bit of English, and uh, that was two of her 16 points. Uh, and again, 15 of those coming in the first half as Coney took early control of the game. Play the game brought to you by your local family-owned McDonald's on Main Street and Union Street in Bangor and on Wilson Street in Brewer. And tonight's game also brought to you by Auto Radiator Services, serving the greater Bangor area for over 50 years for general maintenance, repairs, specialty services like remote car starters. Great for those cold winter mornings. Call 942-4554 or stop by at 568 Hammond Street in Bangor. We're also brought to you by Dorsey Furniture. Start your new year with a... Set of beautiful new furniture from Dorsey Furniture, Route 1A in Holden. Check out Dorsey's top pick, Eastman House Queen Mattresses and Five Comfort Levels on sale starting at only $6.99. Ernie, who is our player of the game in this Coney win? Well, she just made the shot of the game. I'm going to go with Abby Morrow, 5'8 inch junior, had 16 points. Again, first uh, half, uh, accounting for 15 of those 16. And uh, she was very efficient in the post for... Uh, for Coney, and the other thing she did was defensively, they played a lot of 1-3-1 one, one zone defense, and at 5-8, she was playing out on the top, and she was giving the uh, the shorter Brewer guards a lot of difficulty in in uh, finding open passing lanes, particularly as they tried to pass across the court to each other, and that led to 
uh, numerous turnovers. Uh, I had her unofficially for four steals, and I probably uh, sh shorting her by a couple because she got her hand on the ball a lot out there, and that led to fast breaks going down to the other end. So Abby Morrow, pretty good two-way game today is our Firehouse Subs player of the game. Congrats to Abby and the Rams. Today's game brought to you by Flash Me Main Photo Booth Rentals. They're your source for fun. Now booking photo booths for your Valentine's Day and other special events. Go to flashmemain.com today to book your event. And we're also brought to you by the Coach House Restaurant in Brewer for home-style cooking, homemade desserts, and experience-friendly staff. It is the Coach House. Takeout available at 457 Wilson Street in Brewer and at the Coach House Restaurant.com. All this... Uh, Talk of food, Ernie, has made uh, kind of the attention of my stomach. All right, let's take a look at our upcoming broadcast schedule here on Ticket TV. And again, that game final in Hamden as Bangor defeats the Hamden girls 47-34. to We'll see what the weather has in store for us tomorrow, but we are planning on being at Ellsworth High School in a big-time matchup between the Old Town Coyote boys and the Ellsworth boys. And then on Wednesday, Old Town and Ellsworth girls going at it down in Ellsworth. And we also have Nokomis at Hamden Academy on the boys' side on Wednesday as well. So, Ernie, I uh, guess stand by. We'll see what uh, the weather turns out to be. And that's only the first half, 60% of the week. Uh, that's so right. We have much more coming your way. Doubleheaders on Friday and Saturday both, I think. Indeed. I one right. here in Brewer and one out at Herman High School. Now let's give credit to our staff here today. Max Pottle, producing, directing, also responsible for the graphics. Scoreboard, manned by Matt Cunha here today. Camera crew, Jay Baines, Brendan Poliquin. Max Downer didn't make it here today, but it wasn't his fault. Uh, and Ernie Clark, my broadcast partner. Everybody have a great rest of your holiday. Jim Churchill saying good afternoon from Brewer High School. And the final once again, Coney 55, Brewer 38. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Biggest thing that I, I worry about people doing is not putting their money in the best possible place in their home. So my tips would be talk to me about what you plan to do. And I don't charge anything to come do a price for your house. Let me weigh in on some of these things you'd like to do just to make sure that it's the best return on your investment. If you're even thinking about selling your home, make the right move. Visit hollytaylor.realtor to set up your home evaluation today. Hey you, yes you. Are you between the ages of 16 and 24 trying to plan your future? Let the dedicated team at Job Corps get you headed in the right direction. Earn your diploma or get certified in a vocation in less than a year. Call today to change your life. Have you tried the new Happy Hour specials at Uno Pizzeria and Grill? Just six bucks gets you cheesy garlic bread, mozzarella sticks, buffalo chicken quesadillas, cheeseburger sliders, and much more Monday through Friday, 2 to 6 p.m., 9 to close, and all day Sundays. Don't forget about the dough raiser at Uno's. Schedule a dough raiser for your local fundraiser and earn up to 25% of event sales. Contact your local Uno Pizzeria in Bangor for more details at 725 Stillwater Avenue and place your orders at 947-5000 and unos.com. Sometimes life is a cluttered mess, but your car doesn't have to be. At Dean's Detailing, we have a variety of packages that will make your car look new again. Change your outlook. Book your appointment now at deansdetailing.com. Hello, Maine. This is Steve McKay. It's a wintry mix out there, but pockets of orange are standing out against the white blanket of snow throughout the state. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes just like yours. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. High School Basketball on Ticket TV has been presented by Quirk Auto Group, Greenway Equipment Sales, McDonald's on Main Street and Union Street, Bangor, and Wilson Street, Brewer, Next Home Experience, Hero Sports Grill and Entertainment Center, Firehouse Subs in Bangor, Levesque Business Solutions, Uno's Pizzeria and Grill, Bangor, Brewer Redemption Center, 
Flooring Job Corps, Glenburn Landscape and Supply Company, Thriving Proof, Novus Auto Glass, Dean's Detailing, Northeast Driving School, Varney Mazda, Las Palapas, Bangor and Brewer, The Fitch Company, Praise Auto Sales, Bangor Tire Company, Mainly Audio, Tiller and Rye, The Ground Round, The Not So Empty Nest, Dorsey Furniture, Acadia Federal Credit Union, Bennett Auto Center, Hartford's Auto Service, Union Street Laundromat, The Farmer's Table, The Village Kitchen, Comfort Shoes and More, Bangor Floral, Angelo's Pizza, The Local Neighborhood Marketplace, Auto Radiator Services, Hillside Athletics, Flash Me Main Photo Booth Rentals, The Coach House Restaurant, Doors Equipment, and Tim's Plumbing. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is also brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, Creative Options, Bangor Federal Credit Union, First National Bank, Better Homes and Gardens by Holly Taylor, Brewer Federal Credit Union, Down East Toyota, Mid Coast Denture Design, and by the Maine Bureau of Highway Safety. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is a production of Sportsnet Maine.